What's going on YouTube? Luke Photography Walker here with another unboxing video. Today we're going to be doing another Black Series unboxing. I really, really love the Black Series. It just keeps proving to be a better and better each and every time. Sometimes the hands can be a little off, but that's okay. They can easily be fixed, but the Black Series is the tippity top of the figure that you can buy from the retail stores, I believe. I will go ahead and say that. I think that's a fair assumption. And um, they're just proven to be really, really good figures. I'm really, really excited about this one. One of my favorite figures from the Star Wars universe. But before we get to it, I want you to like and subscribe here on YouTube. Check out my other unboxing videos. I've done plenty so far. There's plenty for you to watch. Please like, comment, tell me what you like, what you don't like. I can take it. Head on over to my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, all at Luke underscore Photography Walker. That's Luke underscore Photography Walker. Check out what I do over there. I have a really good time posting pictures of the figures that I unbox here on YouTube. Now, let's get to the unboxing. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Black Series Master Yoda from Dagobah. One of my f favorite Star Wars characters is Master Yoda, next to Luke Skywalker, of course huge Luke Skywalker fan, but Yoda always comes in second just because of his wisdom, his knowledge of the Force, and just some of the stuff that he says, like some of the stuff he says about us being luminous beings and leaving this crude matter behind it, like it really stuck with me, even as a kid. So like Master Yoda's, some of his sayings just really, really resonate, even to this day. So he's a very, very strong character for me. And this is a beautiful, beautiful package here on the uh, Vintage Collection card of the Black Series, the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back, second favorite uh, Star Wars movie, next to Return of the Jedi. So yes, yeah, a great, great package here. Um, I don't have any of these yet, but hopefully, uh, you know, some of them will turn up here sooner than later. So before we go ahead and open them up, we'll do like we always do and have a look at the uh, beautiful artwork here. Um, I'm going to try and find a, uh, a backpack for my um, Luke Skywalker figure to go with this because um, I really didn't like the one that the total package came with so I went with the single uh, figures instead. So yeah, Yoda's got his lightsaber here, his cane, the snake, and I believe that's a whistle around his neck there. So a little bit of tape on the back here. Let's go ahead and get that cut off. Try and just uh, very carefully cut that uh, tape off and lift those flaps. Definitely stuck on there very nicely. Definitely has not been opened before. There we go. Very nice. Very nice reveal of Grandmaster Yoda on Dagobah. He looks great. He's kind of looking off to the side there. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, let's go ahead and look at the accessories first. He comes with a plenty which I'm always a huge fan of when they pack the figures with lots of goodies. So his cane here, as we see on Empire Strikes Back when he comes hobbling along and has a little fight with R2 over the lamp with his cane. Mine! Mine! And it was lightsaber, which was a curious add to this uh, particular um, package. Because, um, you know, Yoda's lightsaber wasn't present on the uh, original trilogy. But, a welcome surprise. <laughs> because I love Yoda's little Shoto lightsaber. That's the, uh, the name of the small lightsabers, Shoto's. Very nice. The blade is a little crooked. That's okay. It can be very easily straightened up. And the blade comes off. Showing the nice hilt. It is a very nice, very nicely done hilt there. Very nice. All right, let's 
get Master Yoda out. Awaken from his slumber. <clears throat> yes. And there he is. A snake, which uh, I don't know why he would have that around his neck. I guess that's just for diorama purposes. But yeah, very nice. Does it have a hood? No hood. Just old, old robes with his whistle necklace. The articulation is very much there. Very movable. Very nice looking hands and feet. The robes look great. A little knot on his belt looks great. And the hair looks wonderful. Very nice molded head. Yeah, very, very pleased with this. Very nice. And here's the Grand Master holding his lightsaber. Something I noticed about this figure when I was putting the lightsaber in hand is his hands are moldable, so they're not completely hard. Um, I've never ran into that before. Uh, in any of these figures that I've unboxed, they've all been really hard and kind of stiff and molded specifically to the accessories that they had. But Yoda's hands are soft and can almost hold anything. Um, it's really quite spectacular. Something I haven't run into yet. Hopefully it'll uh, continue to be. But yeah, he looks great holding his lightsaber, kind of looking off to the side. See how the hand popped off there? It just kind of fits right back on there. Uh, when I was looking at it at first glance, I, I was thinking to myself, there's no way he's going to be able to hold this lightsaber. His hands are too small. But then they molded right around it. Great. That was just a beautiful, wonderful surprise. Put that off the side. So yeah, what a wonderful figure. I am uh, wonderfully surprised at the hands, the articulation, and everything. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the unboxing of Yoda, Black Series Yoda on a vintage collection card from Empire Strikes Back on the 40th Anniversary Edition. Just a great figure. I can't say enough about this one. This is uh, one of my favorite Black Series that I have. I only have a few now, but this is definitely to the very top. The multiple hands were a very welcome surprise, and they've gone back to their original size even after the lightsaber is gone. The snake is wonderful for diorama purposes. The cane is very, very nice. The lightsaber is a welcome, welcome surprise. And Yoda himself is just very, very wonderful. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure and like and subscribe here on YouTube. Check out my other unboxing videos. I've done quite a few now. And to my subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love each and every one of you. Head on over to my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, all at Luke underscore Photography Walker. That's Luke underscore Photography Walker. Thank you guys again for watching, and may the Force be with you.